Good day, everyone. And if you're like me and have one of these uh, Bosch e-bike chargers that decided it uh, wanted to retire, it doesn't want to work anymore, and you're like, all right, I'm going to go online and get me another one, and they're like, a hundred dollars. So you're like, no, I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars. I do have a bench power supply, and I'm just going to maybe charge my battery with that. So you set it for 42 volts and uh, connect to positive and negative right there. And the battery's like, nah, I ain't going to charge because I have this third wire on the charger and without it, I'm not going to do it. And you're like, well, what the heck this third wire does? So you rip the charger apart and find out that all it is is just a five volts reference line right there. All it needs is just five volts on the third pin and then boom, uh, the battery pack starts charging. So, I have a plan. I'm, I got the generic uh, 10S charger for its 42 volts max. It's two amps uh, that has uh, this plug type of plug right there where they come with the barrel connector that, but the power supply is the same. And uh, I do have step down converter is like a buck converter that uh, go you can go up to about 50 volts on on the input side and they can bring it down to five volts so the plan is is to use the regular charger hook up the buck converter for the third wire to give it five volts and uh, have it as a charger for the Bosch Bosch battery and these things are dirt cheap as you know they're like 10 15 bucks you can find those online and uh, this thing right here was a dollar if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> All right, first thing first, this is entertainment purposes only, don't do what I do. But uh, what I'm doing, I have a, just a 42 volt, 2 amp charger, it's a lithium charger for 10S uh, batteries. So 42 volt and divided by 10 is 4.2 volts per cell. So that's what I'm using. That's what the Bosch pack is. It's 10S pack. Another thing I'm using is the, it's a buck converter. So it's a step down converter. I'll put a link down there in the description. I bought 10, like 10 pack of them for nine bucks or whatever there. But what it has, it has in and out in, you can have up to 50 volts and out to up to 35 volts. So uh, 42 volts should match this pretty good. You just uh, in it right there, boom, boom, negative, positive, an output, which is going to be using the positive side. And I'll show you how I wire that in. I already took this power supply part. That's whenever I was doing the proof of concept, because I, what I was trying to do, I was trying to see if this, uh, so what you want to do is just uh, short these two out just to make sure there's no power left in there. Just be very careful because it could store the capacitors could store quite a bit of energy in these. So you gotta be careful. If you decide to do that, then don't do that. Uh, anyways, so uh, you have a uh, positive negative. What I was trying to do is see if I could find uh, five volts anywhere in this board, the reference. So I could just uh, take this plug more or less and go neg positive negative, and then the third one just go to where five volts is. And it is not like I found like 1.8 volt, 3.6 six or 3.7 volts and that's just not enough for, for this to activate it needs to be close to five volts for this uh, uh, on that the third pin so you have positive negative and then this third pin right here that needs to have five volts on it in order for the battery pack to see it and uh, start activating the charging so we're going to create five volts with that board right there so first step i believe what i'm going to do Let's plug in my uh, soldering iron. That could really help us. Alright. Right. Need a soldering iron. I've had this since I was, I don't know, 20. I'm getting old now. But, anyways, on this side, I'm going to steal the plug. These two wires, you normally don't have these two wires. I uh, was using this for proof of concept because I kind of already made this work. I, I plugged the positive negative for, from the, the pigtail to here, and then I created five volts with my power supply just to make sure that's what, what it was. But uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, the negative is the black. Well, you can't see, but negative is the black, positive is the green, and then white one is that plus five volts. Since only one you can see, you'll see like plus five. 5B plus that. So uh, I think I'm gonna clip those off real quick. Okay. 
I'm gonna add these extra wires right here. These ones are gonna go to the board here, to our step down board. And I'm gonna struggle bust this. And by the way, there's no current going through that five, like 0.01 or something like that. It mostly just a reference that it has the voltage on. So all the current is going through positive and negative from the 42 volt side. So this board is like, good for, I don't know, three amps or something, but I don't really, it doesn't really matter just because You're not drawing any current from it. All right. Cool. That's something. So now we got these two. I guess at least cut on the same length here. Don't drop that on my leg, that would suck. So this is gonna be our positive and the negative side for the 42 volt input. So we go to in 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 the minus in plus, pretty self-explanatory, I suppose. Just to kind of run this things over before I plug it in, because I don't think I'm going to pick it up once I plug it in. Uh, so uh, you have on here, you have minus and the positive for the 42 volt side. That's how I hooked it up to the plug. Black is to the negative, green ones to the positive. I also teed in uh, this uh, negative and a positive in the right color. The red is positive. And I went into the in positive, in negative for the uh, buck converter. And the output side, I just tied into the positive side. And that goes to the white wire, then goes to that third pin right there. So I don't plug that into here yet, just because we have to set up this board. So I plug this in now. So the charger is on, our board is on, cool. So we should have uh, 42 volts on the input. Oh, I should pull that over. Boom, hey, 42 volts, come on. Right, 42.1, okay. So 42 volts on the input. And then let's see if I go from the negative over to the out, see how much we got. I'm not sure what I need. Okay, I got 22 volts, so I need to bring that down. So this uh, pod right here, this little blue guy right there, that's what uh, controls the output voltage. So uh, I'm gonna grab like a small, it's gonna be a small screwdriver, like a flat head, a tiny, tiny flat head. So, and uh, I think you just screw it out, that's what you do. You're gonna screw this thing out. It would be nice to screw and measure at the same time, but I don't have that many arms, that many hands. Let's see if we went the right way. So I screwed it out a little bit. So I just do in from negative. So we got 21.7. Or we got, I think we're higher. So I think we've gone the right way. But it's quite a bit more down. It was 20 something, but I believe it was like 22 or something. 
I'm gonna go like this much. I made like two, three turns right there. Nineteen point six. So yeah, we're going the right way. So let's go like six turns. That's good enough. That's uh, it'll be more than plenty. So let me just test the plug. Should be the same thing. 4.94. And then uh, from here, from positive to negative, we should see 40 and 42. Yeah, 42.1. Cool. So let's see if it uh, works. Don't burn anything. All right, so I'll put this up so you guys can see the little charge indicator. We do just gonna plop her in there like this. Boom. That turns red. That is charging. We see that blinking. That is charging. Uh, let's see, uh, I could grab my clamp meter. Hang on. And my clamp meter is like a thousand amp sickness. I don't know if I could fit it on here. I don't shock myself. I'm doing that. Right, let's see. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, man. Alright, negative 1.6, well it's backwards, man, boom, 2.2, I don't know if that's accurate, but maybe, 2.2 is pretty good, 2.2 amps, that's still, it's definitely charging, cool, so yeah, but that's basically it, then you can uh, maybe try to fit it in the back in this case, or, Try to maybe make something work on this case. Uh, I don't know, it'd be kind of cool. Still have all the Bosch stuff on there. Might be a little more work. Uh, but uh, yeah, or you can have this board outside. Maybe have like a little box for it so you don't have to tear that apart. You just snip a cable, get your positive, negative, boom, boom. Get this wire in there, boom, boom. And then that's it. So you don't have to even take that apart like that. So, but yeah, that's, that's what all you do. And they just make it nice. I might give you a final result when it's uh, nice, when it's all put together. I'll show you, but I'm not going to film it though. But yeah, I just wanted to show this since uh, that was kind of, I found that uh, yesterday when I saw that uh, uh, plus five volts on here. I was like, well, I'm going to throw five volts on this uh, leg and then see. And then, yeah, sure, sure enough, it's, uh, that's all it needs is to see five volts on that uh, third wire. And that's it. All righty, guys. I will uh, give you an update. All right, took some uh, time and some uh, dremeling, but I was able to fit it inside the stock Bosch casing. I'm just missing one screw in the back. Couldn't could have to dremel that out. Uh, had to solder the stock uh, plug in and stuff. But yeah, everything is uh, it's working. It's plugged in right now. We got our plug right there. Boom, that goes there. And it's charging. I lost the red that still lights up inside there, I'm sure, but <laughs> can't see it anymore. But uh, yeah, that, that's it. it stock Bosch charger. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Hopefully it helps somebody. Uh, just uh, shows how these uh, Bosch chargers work. It does. I, I did whenever I did, did my uh, stuck uh, whenever i did my uh, trial run i did charge it all the way it stops like it should and everything else it charges at 242 volts so just like the stock charger would uh but yeah thank you guys for watching i appreciate you and i'll catch you in the next video bye